by and large, um, frontline clinicians, whether it's doctors, pharmacists, nurses, or mid-levels, um, are in healthcare because their heart's in the right place, and I'm a firm believer in that. The most motivating is if you can connect the changes to the patient. And again, it goes back to people who go into healthcare um, are by and large a group that will take a lot if they feel that they're making a difference in, in the patient uh, who's in front of them. The most demotivating are the opposite when it's, it's things that feel like a distraction and keep you from delivering that care. An example of that is anytime you put in a new electronic health record, the inefficiencies baked into that create a gap between you and the patient in front of you that feels distancing rather than um, recognizing that in the long run it will help us deliver better care. Do I think that there's a connection between um, the heart of patient safety and the heart of the patient experience and provider satisfaction? I absolutely do. I mean providers are human beings and so the more taxed and stressed they are, the more mistake prone they're likely to be, the more likely it is that they'll overlook things that they otherwise would catch and the more likely it is that they're not going to have the smiling face and, and really be very patient-centered in their approach. I think the number one thing that we've done here is work to create alignment so that we really are working as one system. Um, one of the outputs of that is our annual operational strategy, which is another way to think about it. It's our annual quality plan. By the process of that, trying to get everyone to have input from nurses to pharmacists to physicians, that the output of that, what we all agree to work on in any given year, is sort of a shared sense of purpose and an ability for everyone to sort of understand these external demands and have a voice in how we set our priorities. Healthcare is not going to be transformed with a single best initiative, but rather everyone doing work in a different way. And so seeing the number of nurses, the number of frontline providers meaningfully engage in improvement work and that's led to safer care for our patients, reduced hospital acquired infections, it's reduced to more cost effective care with reduction in unnecessary testing. But it's really the sum total that has me most excited, not any one of those initiatives on their own.